Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the 10 of the highest paid players in the Premier League in terms of wages. We'll also be judging if they deserve that money or if they're being overpaid. Because overpaying on underperforming players is one of the biggest indictments on a club doing poorly for that season. So let's get on with the list. At number 10, the 10th highest paid player in the Premier League right now is Man City's winger Jack Grealish who's on 300k a week. And being on 300k, you have to say Grealish is massively overpaid and overrated. Man City broke the transfer record to sign him for 100 million pounds and they gave him this massive contract that runs until 2027. While some City fans say Grealish serves a purpose playing in the style he does, it's still bad to be earning that much and being almost a pedestrian in the City team when he does play. And in three seasons for City, Grealish has played 125 games and scored only 14 goals and provided 19 assists. Those are pretty abysmal stats. At number 9, the next highest paid player is Grealish's teammate Bernardo Silva who's also on 300k a week. And Bernardo is worth every penny because he's an icon of the Premier League. Bernardo's contract goes on until 2026 and he's been at City for 8 seasons now and his total he's played 357 games and scoring 68 goals. And he's showing no signs of slowing down as last season he made 49 appearances and he was one of City's best players. So Bernardo Silva is at number 9. At number 8 we have Man United's Marcus Rashford earning £300 a week. And you have to say this contract is a bad deal for United as Rashford is also massively overpaid and overrated. He lacks consistency and doesn't contribute defensively and he's been involved in a few off-pitch drama. The unfortunate part for United is that Rashford signed his contract only last year meaning he'll be on £300 a week until 2028. And Rashford managed to fool the club and fans by having a solid season in 2023 just as his old contract was about to expire and this made the club give him a new pay rise and a new contract. However, since signing the new deal, his form has massively dipped significantly and I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. At number 7, we have Man United's captain Bruno Fernandes who's also on £300 a week until 2027. And I think this is a fair contract because Bruno is often carrying this Man United team by himself. He can play multiple positions to serve as a team and he's always fit and healthy. Since signing for Man United, Bruno has gone four seasons in a row playing over 45 games per season for the club. So he's a bit of an Iron Man and he's worth every penny for that contract. At number six, it is Romelu Lukaku on 325,000 a week for Chelsea. And this might just be the worst contract on the list because this player is not even at the club. He signed his contract when he signed with Chelsea in 2021. But within six months, Lukaku quit on the club and wanted to go back to Inter Milan even though he had just signed a new five-year contract until 2026. Lukaku has since been a nomad playing for Inter Milan and Roma and now he's back at Chelsea searching for a new club. And what a waste of a career because Lukaku was on his way of being a footballing and Premier League icon. At number five, it is Chelsea's Raheem Sterling earning 325,000 a week. This is another terrible contract because Chelsea signed Sterling in 2022, making him their highest paid player. While Sterling has tried to perform, the club around him has been in chaos with frequent manager changes and revolving doors of players. He's playing 81 games over two seasons for Chelsea, scoring 19 goals. It's not stellar, but the club's instability has not helped him. And now in 2024, despite still being Chelsea's highest paid player, the club have announced that Sterling is not part of their plans and now they're trying to force him out, even though his contract runs until 2027. At number four, the fourth highest paid player in the Premier League is Liverpool's Mo Salah on £350,000 a week. And I'd argue Salah is underpaid given his contributions. He's an absolute legend of Liverpool and the Premier League. Salah's achievements for the club will go down in history. In total, he's played 350 games, scored 212 goals. His stats are incredible and at 32, he's still performing. He finished last season with 44 games and scoring 25 goals. His contract expires in 2025 and with the law of big money in Saudi League, this may be Salah's final season at Liverpool, but he's at number four. In third place, the third highest paid player in the Premier League is Casemiro, who earns £350,000 a week. This is a terrible contract and Man United are getting robbed in broad daylight. In typical United fashion, they panic bought Casemiro, who was then 30 years old after he had completed seven seasons with Real Madrid. United decided to become Casemiro's retirement home, giving him a brand new five-year contract at £350,000 a week. And that contract runs until 2026. And although he had a good debut season, winning over some fans, his form plummeted last season, making it clear his best days are behind him and his legs are gone. At number two, the second highest paid player in the Premier League, it's Kevin De Bruyne for Man City, who's on £400,000 a week. 
And just like Mo Salah, De Bruyne is arguably underpaid for what he's done for Man City and what he continues to do. A legend of the Premier League, De Bruyne is the heartbeat of City's team that's won six Premier Leagues in seven years. He does everything, he assists, he scores, he defends. He's been Premier League's arguably best player of the last 10 years and he's worth every penny. Finally, at number one, the highest paid player in the Premier League is Man City striker Erling Haaland. And there's some dispute how much he actually earns. Some say 360 a week, some say 600, 700k a week, but I think 500k a week is the most credible number to believe. But nonetheless, Haaland deserves every penny he earns. He is the biggest footballing star in the Premier League right now. He's an absolute monster on the pitch. He's broken all goal scoring records and he continues to do so. And it's hard to believe he's only 22 years old. So Haaland is the highest earning player in Premier League league right now. So that was the list of the 10 highest paid players in the Premier League right now. Thank you for tuning into my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content.